Hey guys, my name's Samantha and welcome to my channel. So I filmed this holiday look. I wanted to do, to do something different than gold. So I did this silver cranberry look and I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and just get started. So first I go into the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place with the shade Giza and I use that to highlight my brow bone. I've been doing this or I've been trying to do this um, first so I've been really enjoying putting this on before. Just kind of helps with blending. Um, and then I use this orangey shade called Reflection. This is from the Urban Decay and Alice in Wonderland palette. And I put this all over into the crease using a fluffy brush, but I also bring it on top into the lid as well. Um, I feel like it, it doesn't look like much, but I feel like it just helps with the blending process of all the colors that we go in with later. So I feel like it was a necessary step, even though it looks like nothing on my eyelid. I promise you, it did help. And so then once um, that is laid down, I went into the Kylie Jenner Holiday Palette and I believe this is the shade Chestnut. And then with that same brush, I kind of go over the same steps that we did before, um, putting it right over that shade. I went in with a little bit of a darker shade after the reflection shade um, just to help start the darkening process of the crease. And yeah. Like I said, just going back on top of the shade we put down before, basically in the same exact spot. And then once that's done, back into the Masquerade palette, I take the shade Ada or Ida. Not sure how you pronounce it, but on a smaller brush, um, this is where I start getting darker into the colors. Um, I focus that on the outer corner first and then I focus it into the inner corner and I kind of just blend the two meeting into the crease. This is going to be kind of like a halo eye. And then just to soften everything up back into that fluffy brush, but with no additional product on it. And then once that is blended out, I go into a darker shade. This is called Muse from the Lime Crime palette. And I basically focus that into the same spot. We're gonna be doing everything basically in the same spot that we've been doing it at, just with darker colors. Just so that way it is has like a very nice blending effect. And then of course, back in with that same fluffy brush just to blend everything out. Um, no more additional product on this on this brush, just uh, whatever is left on top. And then into the Masquerade palette, this shade Zobo. Um, I use that once again in the same exact spot we've been going in, the outer corner, and then I go into the inner corner. And then again, I will take that fluffy brush just to blend everything out even more. And then with the shade Icon from the Lime Crime palette, um, I focus that first on the outer corner and then I blend it out. And I go back and forth. So I'm going back again and then just making it a little bit darker. And then um, I'll do the exact same thing to the inner corner. Just in a second, wait for it. There it is, I'm blending it out. And then after that, I go back into the holiday palette and this is the shade Frosty, silvery shade. And I focus that on the center part where we had no shadow um, in the first place. And then I take Zobo on a smaller brush and I focus it around the edges of that shadow just to blend it into the outer parts. So that's why it's not so harsh. And then with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Distortion, I put that on the center on top of the shadow and then with the NYX glitter in the number 6, I place that on top before the glitter liner dries 
just for an added sparkle. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my God, I can't get over it. It's so gorgeous. And then with the lower lash line, I use the shade Zobo on that same small brush and I run it all along my lash line. And then before I go any further with that, I do take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I run that under my waterline. And then just with the clean shader, or not shader brush, blending brush, I smoke that bottom part out. And then with that dark brown icon shade from the Lime Crime palette, um, I place that on the outer part of my, the lower lash line, and then I blend it out with that brush. Again, no more, no more shadow on the brush, just the shadow that I had already put down. And then for the lips, I'm going to be lining with a dark brown shade. This is from Lord & Berry in the Nude Liner color. I do those weird lines for some reason. I don't know why I feel like they make my, help make my lips look a little more plump. And then I take the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Adorable and I put that in between the lines. And then I kind of just mesh my lips together to mix it all. And then that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!